has been a momentous week because you can see behind me our Clawfoot tub is finally in its new home and I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like a little bit later in today's episode but I thought I would share with you what we've been up to this week uh, because it's been a really really busy week getting this platform and this tub in place. Um, we've also painted all the walls here in the dressing room, the windows are now painted um, and we've also um, painted our other tub in our family bathroom. So I'm going to show you uh, all those different aspects and we're going to come back to this big question of what our tub looks like now in this window behind me. So today Stephen has put the final piece on our platform which is now almost ready for our tub and uh, all the floorboards came from the attic um, each one he has uh, brought down, planed down, and he's now um, filled in all the holes with wood filler. So we're now waiting overnight uh, for the wood filler to uh, dry, and then we will be sanding this and staining it. But one of the things um, that we have been working on today is this little edge piece on the, on the lip here. Um, you'll see that when we put in all the floorboards, it left kind of a rough edge. Um, and we wanted to do something that really finished it off nicely. So we found this really, really pretty um, edging, uh, wooden edging that we've decided that we're gonna use. And so we just got it home just a few hours ago and uh, we have been putting it on to see what it looks like. And I have to say that it looks fantastic. We just glued it with some wood glue um, and um, nailed it on. So again, we're gonna leave the glue overnight so it dries and then we're gonna sand it into the top and it gives this really nice finish. So when it's, gonna, when it's stained, it'll be stained the same color as the top, it's gonna have this really pretty detail on the edge. So tomorrow's the day that we do sanding and fingers crossed we may even do some staining or even some painting of the wall. So let's see how much we get done tomorrow. After a bit of sanding, the floorboards started to look amazingly, almost like new. It's hard to believe these were old floorboards from up in the attic. And once they were all sanded, it was time for us to start working on sanding the windows. So I am on my second coat of this trim colour. We did the first, I did the first coat yesterday. Um, and it is just transforming these windows. The windows still need to be cleaned. You can see they're really dirty. Um, so they'll need a bit of a clean up. And these actual sashes we've take, I've taken out and I'm gonna paint those separately and then put those in. But um, with the gray, we've started putting on the gray around the window as well. Um, and the second coat of this trim paint, we're then ready to stain the platform and we can then very soon get the top on. After two coats of paint, the windows were transformed. And although some of the glass needs to be cleaned, that's mostly on the outside. I'm gonna to have to wait for the spraying to get up on a ladder, but they're starting to look really great. So it's a really exciting moment because we are finally saying goodbye to this blue. And although there's been a, quite a few people who actually said to me that they really like this blue, it is not the color we want for our dressing room. So uh, my first job today is to um, put on a color blocking primer um, to cover the blue. So because we're gonna be putting a lighter color um, over the top and we obviously don't want any of the blue to bleed through. So. Um, we are finally saying goodbye to the blue. It's going to be nice and white, um, and then we can decide what we put on the top. With all the walls primed, it was now time for us to start on the top coat, and uh, we've chosen a really lovely grey that we're going to be using in um, this suite. And so we have now put on two coats over our primer, um, and it has this really uh, beautiful, soft feel to it. So this is the two-part epoxy paint that we now have a trying for our tub. And uh, it's had two pieces that we've mixed 
Uh, you had to wait an hour, and now Stephen has got the honor of um, applying it, rolling it onto the top. And uh, he was just saying, it's pretty runny, hey? Yeah, but it goes on nice and smooth, though. So it should give us a really nice finish. Um, kind of hard to see where the bits you've done, the bits you haven't done. Yeah, right? but it looks really good, though. Yeah, it is hard. It's very close. The lighting in here isn't the greatest. Good I'm excited to see what it looks like when it kind of all dries. So we etched the uh, tub with this lovely gel um, last weekend and it worked so well that we've decided that we're going to do the same thing on our other clawfoot tub. Now you'll remember this clawfoot tub is one that I finished, well I painted and finished a little while ago. So it has the black um, underneath and it has the gorgeous gold clawfoot. The claw feet, I guess, is the right terminology. Anyway, so we are going to etch um, the tub um, with the same product that we used on the other one, and then we're going to paint this one so it comes up nice and white because right now it's pretty dingy. And this is the tub that's going to be in our family bathroom. So um, it's again going to have the brass uh, taps. Um, and it's gonna look beautiful, but we'll see how this one goes. And then once we've etched this today, we are then, then gonna paint both the tubs with the new epoxy paint that we have, and we'll see how that looks. So we'll stay tuned and I'll show you what happens next. The end result was absolutely amazing. The finish was white and clean and glossy and looked great on both the tubs. In fact, you almost felt like it looked like it was a new tub inside. So we, the day has finally come when we can actually stain this beautiful platform that Stephen built. And uh, I'm, we use, I'm using a, um, a stain that we've chosen that's actually going to be the same stain for the floor. So this platform is going to look um, the same as the floorboards in the dressing room and in the bathroom. And um, I think that there's a various different techniques for doing staining. Personally, I use a foam brush um, and I put my stain on and then I wipe it off with a cloth and I find that that works really well. Um, so I'm now gonna get started and get this all stained up so we can see how it looks. After I'd stained the uh, platform, we then applied four coats of a top coat that's going to protect it and make it very hard wearing. And I just love how it's turned out. You can really see the grain, the wood, has, the depth in the wood has come out, and I just love it. It was then time to actually move the tub into place. And this tub is heavy. And so we had to kind of do it in stages and take rests in between. Um, and obviously we didn't want to scratch the wood as well, so we were trying to be really, really careful. But we got it into place. So I know that you've been waiting to see what our tub looks like and so I am going to finally reveal the uh, clawfoot tub and how it now looks in our window. We are so excited about our tub and seeing it in this window. 
Uh, the It just looks perfect. Everything about it we love. Um, it looks fantastic inside with the new paint. Um, the brass taps look amazing. And you can see here that the, the view that we'll have sitting in that tub is just spectacular. And it's hard to believe that it wasn't that long ago, in fact it was a couple of weeks ago, the tub looked like this. And the transformation is just amazing. We still have a little bit of plumbing um, to hook up, but it's almost there. The really clever thing that Stephen did was he's actually um, left one of the floorboards in the platform open. So we can pop it up like this and that allows us to access all the drains and the plumbing underneath um, just in case there's a leak or something happens and we need to access that um, but when you put the um, floorboard back in no one would ever notice that we actually have a um, access point there Unfortunately, we have to wait another three more days for the paint inside the tub to cure before we can actually use it. But I cannot wait to have my first bath in this tub at the weekend. So my next job here in the dressing room is to finish painting the baseboards in the trim with white and then we will stain the floor. Uh, our platform still needs some molding around the front and then we'll start on the fun part of the crown moldings and the baseboards and uh, all the little detail pieces that is gonna make this room look even more beautiful. So I'm gonna get back to work and get painting and uh, I will see you on our next episode of the Lee Smith Manor Diaries.